It's another K-Town beat. YouTube, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Outlaw, I'm back in the day, I got that, I got a wavy cut, taper, ball taper, what we gonna do, he got a challenging hairline, uh, let me say something though, I got a pet peeve, and I know most barbers have the same pet peeve as me, I really hate when the client keeps their head down and I gotta keep picking it up. Clients get in the chair, they want to play on their phone. They want to text, they want to talk, they want to look at the video. Tell me what's so hard about just picking your phone up and looking at it. Look, pick it up. Don't hold it down in your lap. You know, it's bad for your posture. Right? It's bad for your posture. But, man, just pick it up and look at it so you can hold your head up. Look, he got his head down the whole time. Right, I'm gonna readjust it a few times in the video, but um, yeah, man, that's a pet peeve for me. But anyway, back to the haircut, man. It's bad for your posture. You want to start your guideline using a trimmer to get it bald, and I got it going in a circular motion is because I kind of want it like a burst taper in a way, right? I still want to kind of give them the hooks so. I just I did the taper this way and made my guideline this way, right? So also when we dealing with ways we want to try to keep a big guard on it to understand to to not you know cut it too low where you'll start seeing the scalp. So make sure you use a big guard on his hair right now. I'm using a one and a half and his ways are deep. His hair is thick so I can use a one and a half to keep a full look. Now on this side, I want y'all to pay very close attention because when I did the other side, you know, I looked at it, it came out just a little bit blurry. You can see it, but this is a little bit more detailed. So what I do, I use my my clipper, whichever clipper you want to use, adjustable, and you want to open it up all the way. So you want to come right above the guideline that you made, right? And we're trying to stay in a certain area, so I'm keeping it open. And I'm being light with it, right? Because I'm trying to keep keep the waves coming down and trying to keep the taper low. Now, when I was doing it, for some reason, uh, it's a little darker under his skin, under the hair, than I thought. So I had to bring it up some. But right here, I'm using the one guard open also above the guideline that I just made. So we want to knock it down. The problem for me is I like to keep everything smooth, right? <clears throat> so, in order to keep everything smooth, sometimes, you know, you have to bring it up or knock some of the bulk off in order to keep it, you know, to keep everything smooth or bring the taper lower down to where you don't have to touch that part. That's also an option. But for me, I wanted to do like a burst taper, so I had to bring it up a little higher. Now, you see me stretching the skin, and because I'm stretching the skin, now I have my, my clipper closed because I'm just really trying to clean that bottom line up. Uh, everything seems faded already for me, uh, you know, as far as bulk goes, but I want to clean out the bottom line. And uh, you see me, that's what I'm doing right now, and I'm using the corner of the blade in order to do that all right so it's gonna take a little while um you can go open the clothes here you can kind of go midway close but whatever you have to do um whatever size you choose to use make sure you use the corner of the blade while doing it right whichever tactic that you use to approach it right and i'm using the corner of the blade also using the corner of the blade 
actually helps you to not create more guidelines so it's needed you know using the corner of the blade is very instrumental now if it's still not smooth enough to you like the way it's sitting too thick you don't want it to look like a uh, like a little chili bowl type you can use clip overcome and that's what i did right here i used clip overcome until i got it to the look that i wanted it to be right so this is barbering is all of it's art right and because it's art you're gonna have a different view of a haircut than i do of what i want it to look like what you want it to look like what it should have looked like that's why you have so many different great barbers because we all have different visions right so whatever you you want to decide like i didn't cut his hair last but you can tell whoever cut his hair last scarred him because right here you see where it's so dark at around where the c cup is like you know it's it's darker because they either burnt them with the clippers or you know the clipper was too short so that makes it a little bit challenging especially on this side and then you can see the front of his edge up uh he's thinning right in the front also on this side we do the exact same thing we did on the other side we started our guideline we use our clipper open, make a guideline, then we come back with our one and do a guideline above that also. So this is the same steps as the other side. Uh, you just want to try to match the two up. You make sure you're using the corner of the blade here. You can watch it. Um, after this is done, we'll jump straight into the edge up. Uh, when I was when I was doing parts of the haircut, uh, some of the video wasn't recording because I switched out the the battery and I thought I was recording. But uh, I got majority of it, but this is the steps that you need to do in order to create this type of taper. So when we get to the lineup, I'll show you exactly what I did. So right here, I switched out the battery. You can see I'm getting ready to start the edge up, but I already, you see, I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to record. I was, wasn't was recording, but I can tell you, I started, you see how it's low over there? So I started from where my finger was, like right here, I started and I worked my way over to the left. And I started on that side because I kind of wanted to use that part as my guide. Sometimes you don't have to start directly in the middle. You can pick different starting points if you feel like it's gonna help you get to where you're going, right? I already used the Mr. Outline of Detailing Spray. Helps me get a crispy look. You see that, right? You see that. And then also, uh, the vertical bars, you just wanna pull away. You know, you wanna tap, tap, pull away, pull down. You know, just make it short. Try to get the corners as sharp as you can without compromising the lineup. Now. That's what I did. And you see me working under, I'm working under the light spot. And right here, like I said, you can kind of see where the last barber scarred him. Uh, it's no enhancement here. You can see kind of like where the last barber scarred him at. So um, I tried to keep it, the look, the integrity of the look. Now, so that's, that's that. And you see how it's kind of dry and I'm trying to cut it with my trimmer and it's not going away that's how you know the last barber um his either his clipper was too hot or too short right <laughs> 
So that's what we got. And um, that kind of threw me off during the haircut, and I didn't just necessarily realize it, but when I was look, going back looking at it, I'm like, man, that's kind of crazy. So I'm looking down so you can kind of see exactly what I was doing. I ain't want to stand in front of the camera because you already missed it. But you come back over, start from that same starting point where I started at, and come from that that way to the right. Start from that starting point to the right now, instead of that starting point to the left. So we can get the same look, consistent look overall. You know, it helps you balance the lineup. It's detailed and it helps you balance it. So you always want to, you know, have the same system for attacking a lineup, right? So that's what we got. So you see that? Boom. We come do the vertical bars. Now I'm just tapping it because I want to get it sharp. Now this hacker is already fire. He does like enhancements. So I will put some enhancements on him. Uh, if you ask me, it's not necessarily needed. But he's thin in the little corners. Right there in the corner too, right on the hairline, you can tell he had the little hook part right there going on. So um, he likes to get it a hook right there because it's thin. I have cut his hair before, but I haven't cut it the last two or three times, I'm sure, because um, my books are booked. But um, yeah, so we want to fill in that spot because he no longer wants that that design there anymore the little nars hook so uh but yeah on the hairline you just want to take your time keep it straight tap it go you know make it look good man you see that right there man that lineup is, is sharp you gotta get you some new that mr outline of detailing miss if you don't it's back in stock i shipped out whoever's uh ordered that need to be shipped out also, I got a new product coming. Give me a, give me like another video or two, and I'll drop that for you. Also, but now after you get the edge up done and things like that, it's just about detailing. If you see something that you feel is a little bit off, then you can always go back and touch it up too. So, this is basically the haircut. This is the lineup. Uh, he wants hair fiber, so I'm gonna put the hair fiber. Um, the thing about this new hair fiber that I'm using is called Bromane, and I'll leave it in the description. I'm still learning. The, the last video I did, I believe, was my first video using it. I don't know if it's the last haircut video. So, the thing that I notice about this hair fiber is it's very light, right? So, when you're using pressure to blow it out of the, the hair automizer, you want to use very very light pressure and i'm still adjusting to it it's a good product but as with any product it might take you a minute to um get used to it and adjust to it right you know so that's this is all part of me getting adjusted to using this hair fiber right it's good but it's light so you don't need a lot of pressure being good with enhancements is about pressure and learning the pressure and how the product disperses, right? And so uh, once you figure that out, then you know it'll be it'll become more consistent. Now every hair fiber product is not equal. Like I said, this one is a little bit lighter, so it disperses a lot easier. Some of them are a little thicker, so you have to apply a little bit more pressure. So you have to figure out for you what's good you know what i mean what what's gonna make it look good so that's what we got right here uh we hit them with the hair fiber lock it in then we come back and we tap his line again and also if you feel like you put too much uh hair fiber on you can always come back you can scrape it off you can use the end of a comb whatever you want to use in order to take off the excess right but you want to do it before it dries up right and you see I, I knocked it off with the card that i used in order to do the lineup i come back with the, with the mr outliner detailing spray let it dry and then i come back and hit the lineup and like i said his hairline was already crispy but we're gonna use 
that half of the face because it's dried already. But you see, when you put the Mr. Eyeliner Detailing Spray on, it's going to make everything stick. And that's, you can see me wiping off the excess hair fiber, but it's going to make everything stick. So now that it's stick, we come back, boom, we hit it, tap it, extra crispy. We had the crispy, now we got the extra crispy. When you see these detailers, I'm making them put that work in, baby. You know how it go. But that's what we're doing right now. Um, I wanted to show y'all how to do the lineup, how to get a quick crispy lineup, how to do a little burst taper uh, the way that I do a burst taper. Everybody might not agree, and that's okay. Also, I wanted to talk to y'all about posture because he ain't got it. If you notice how many times I had to pick his head up or how many times his head is down, but I still managed to get a good cut out of it. That's just because I'm experienced and I know what's going on. But anyway, that's the video. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know how we do it. Until next time, love, peace, and hair grease.